Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Cloud Gaming here, bringing you another GTA 5 video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the Oppressor, the Mark 1 version, um, what makes it good, what makes it bad, uh, what makes it uh, maybe better or worse uh, compared to the Oppressor Mark 2, and whether or not you should buy it. Um, I'm going to be going over basically everything in the video. I had uh, one of my friends tell me that in the video about the Mark 2, I didn't tell you guys the price i'll make sure to do that for this video and um the price for the mark 2 oh, by the way i believe is about three million i actually didn't check up on that because i completely forgot that um to put that in the video um but i will be showing you guys that for the mark 1 and you'll probably see the mark 2 in there somewhere too um so actually on that note let's go ahead and check out the price now because i believe that is one of the benefits of the Mark 1 is that it actually isn't extremely expensive. It's not going to break the bank. It's not going to be a fire truck where it's 3 million for something that you're probably rarely going to use. By the way, here's the Oppressor Mark 2 price. It's about 3 million, like I said. Um, and it's not going to be like a thruster where it's like 3 million for something that you're barely going to use, but it is about 3 million. It's actually more than. Wait, is it actually more than the Oppressor Mark 2? Oh wow, it's actually more than the Impressive Mark 2, although I do think I have the sales price, maybe. But, if there is a trade price, I don't remember, but, um, so I take that completely back. Um, um it is not cheaper than the Mark 2, so that is one of the bad things. You are actually paying more for a, I guess you could say, inferior product. Um, I guess we will be able to tell um, after this video, but there are some things that are better about it than if you have the oppressor mark 2 so let's go ahead and do the better things first since we did just go over a price which was actually astronomically high so let's go ahead and give it a um maybe give some reasons why it might be so high so one of the first reasons that it might be so high is um while it can't um stay in the air forever as you see you do have to glide with it and it does slow down while it's in the air it can actually go faster than the Impressor Mark 2 depending on where you are for example if you're here you can repeatedly boost and you can get your boost back and then you can like go over a car boost land on the ground and get it back and it's actually extremely fast when you're doing this and while you can't take some routes that you might be able to take with the Mark 2 where you can fly over buildings and stuff like that or which you can take it just it's a little harder um, you can go extremely fast on the road, which doesn't completely make up for it, but makes it more, um, I'd say, fair in terms of how fast each one can go. Um, another good thing is you're actually less likely to be targeted. It, again, this is in my experience using the Mark One than you are to be targeted if you're, say, using the Mark II, um, because the Mark II has a worse reputation, um, somewhat rightfully so, but. Um, you are less likely to be um, targeted, and um, there, so it is actually easier for you to make sales and do things like that. Um, also, as you can see, you have missiles which um, you can buy, and I believe you can get bulletproof tires, um, which are which makes it. Kind of, uh, it makes it better because uh, than if you couldn't because you can also drive without uh, spinning out of control um, because if you boost and you have no control uh, it's probably not as good especially with the uh, how easy it is to be knocked off of the oppressor mark one um, so now let's go ahead and get into the bad things I'm gonna probably do three of each um, which are the three worst things and the three best things uh, but I think one of the bad things is that price. Um, I think that it should be probably less than the Oppressor Mark II. Um, while there are good things about each of them, there are bad things about each of them. Um, the Oppressor Mark I does have an, a disadvantage as it is slower and less for combat, more for grinding or uh, maybe just using it to casually get around the map. Um, I don't think it should be worth or I don't think it should cost more than the Oppressor Mark II. Um, another bad thing is that you actually have to glide, and 
doing this um, is actually it takes a lot of or it takes a bit of skill and uh, knowing what you're doing as you just saw there I tapped the mountain and my bike went flying and I had to call back um, the flying does take a bit of skill which is kind of a bad thing there is kind of a learning curve um, but once you get used to it uh, it actually isn't that hard to uh, get a hold of um, and the final bad thing is that um, it actually isn't um, extremely or not not that it isn't extremely fast, but that it is actually extremely easy to get um, hit by, say you lightly tap a car, or you poke a um, poke a light post, or you do this. If you're going at a fast enough speed, and you just lightly do that, you might fall off of your bike. Or even if you're going like up a hill like this or something, you see, I should have went straight up it, but instead my bike went straight up and I went straight down um, which is a bad thing because you don't want to randomly not know if there is a chance of you falling off or not uh, based on like small geographical things like you're trying to use a mountain as a ramp which you can do very easily with a bunch of motorcycles but for some reason you can't do it with this motorcycle um, so, so that isn't uh, extremely good, especially or especially if you're trying to do a mission, or if you're trying to do a prep. If you're trying to do, blah, 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 trying to do a prep, and you do that, you're probably gonna fail. If you guys did enjoy the video, um, that's really it. If you guys did enjoy, please do uh, like it. If you really liked it, please do subscribe. If you didn't like it, tell me why down in the description below. See you guys in the next video. And...